This video will demonstrate the Factor Talk Asset Center disaster recovery feature. Disaster recovery allows a user to automatically detect changes in an automation system, report on them, and maintain current configuration settings on a user defined basis. Factory Talk Asset Center will automatically initiate the upload from an asset, compare the current configuration file to the last known good version in an archive, and create a differences report if any exist. This report is stored in the Factory Talk Asset Center logs and can optionally be emailed as well, depending on the user's preference. A configuration with differences can be immediately added to the archive, automatically incrementing the version. To configure disaster recovery, Add the desired asset into the Factory Talk Asset Center asset tree, then create a disaster recovery schedule for it. There are many devices available for use with disaster recovery. In this example, a schedule will be created for the filler section of the packaging area, which includes a Logix 5000 controller asset. There are four different disaster recovery scheduled types. A backup operation will upload the assets configuration file and check it into the Factory Talk Asset Center archive without doing any comparisons, regardless of whether the file is different from the latest version already checked into the Factory Talk Asset Center archive. Backup and Compare will upload the assets configuration file and compare it to a designated version already checked into the archive, but by default, will not check the uploaded file into the archive. To use this function to also check the file into the Factory Talk Asset Center archive, the Promote New Upload to Master property of the device within the schedule must be set to true. This will cause the uploaded file to be checked into the Factory Talk Asset Center archive when differences are found between it and the latest version already checked in and will automatically promote the uploaded version as the master of the file. The source code validation schedule periodically assesses L80 controllers running version 34 or newer firmware to determine if the controller has been exploited. The output of the schedule will indicate if a Logix controller is exploited or not, or if there were issues preventing the schedule from running properly. The Logix Design Compare tool version 9 and later can be used to perform on-demand assessment and detection of an exploited Logix controller. This schedule type does not create new versions in the archive. A change detect schedule continuously monitors a version 20 or higher control Logix asset for changes. Change Detect is a partnership between Factory Talk Asset Center and a configuration stored in the ACD file the controller is executing. The ACD file configuration determines what is considered a change. During execution, Factory Talk Asset Center pulls each controller to determine if the change occurred. While not as detailed as Disaster Recovery Compare Report, this feature provides near real time feedback on the controller's change status. When a change is detected, Factory Talk Asset Center continues to monitor the controller for any additional changes for a user-specified amount of time before uploading the controller's change log and generating a report detailing all changes that occurred during this period. If changes are still occurring after this period is timed out, Factory Talk Asset Center will continue monitoring by starting a new period. For this example, we will proceed with a backup and compare schedule. There are a number of different selections that are available. Additional description can be added, as well as users can be sent an email when the schedule is completed. Frequency will be set at 2 a.m. We'll create a weekly schedule every Sunday. Users may enable a maximum runtime if desired. Each device within a section can be enabled or disabled and provides its own set of disaster recovery configuration options. The Promote New Upload to Master option ensures that a new version of the file will be created in the archive if any differences are found. Additionally, each asset type will provide different granularities of comparison options. Finally, for this new schedule, we will configure it to only email when differences between the archive and production versions are found. This email will include the comparison report. Back at the main schedule screen, the new schedule appears. The active status is set to on, status is waiting to run. This means at 2 a.m. each Sunday morning from now on, all assets within the filler area have been included in this schedule automatically. Subsequent configuration of the area, such as the addition or removal of an asset, will automatically be reflected here in the schedule with no additional user interaction. A schedule can be manually run using the green play button. Notice the asset status updating as it is serviced. If differences were found, the differences report has been emailed based off the configuration that we set up. 
However, it is also stored in the Factory Talk Asset Center logs. Logix 5000 assets use the Logix Designer Compare utility, which outputs detailed comparison information. The first page of the comparison report shows a high-level overview of the changes. Under the task section, we can see that there is one ladder difference on the right content, which is the online value, which is different from the offline project designated as the left project. On the third page, we can see the rung that was added. Back in the web client, if we examine the archive capability for filler CLX, we'll see that a new version has been created based off the backup and compare report. Going back to the schedules page in the web client, Users may turn on or off the schedule just by clicking on the radio button under the active column. When completed, the active shifts to the left and the status no longer says waiting to be run, but shows as disabled. The schedule must also be inactive in order to modify properties. Here is where you can change the frequency, the emails, and what day of the week you're wanting to schedule. In this case, we will change to a monthly schedule on the seventh day of every month. To delete a schedule, Click on the Delete Schedule button. A prompt will come up asking if you're sure, and you'll be notified that the schedule was deleted. Factory Talk Asset Center Disaster Recovery is licensed as a capability, which is a single activation depending on the device type. When this capability is activated, each disaster recovery asset then counts against the asset capacity licensing. For more information on schedules, Please refer to the Factory Talk Asset Center page on Rockwell Automation's site or refer to the Factory Talk Asset Center web client disaster recovery schedules frequently asked questions knowledge base article. Thank you for watching.